Since IOM, please. Excellencies, distinguished uh, delegates, I'm making this statement on behalf of the Director General of IOM, Antonio Vitrino. Uh, universal health coverage will not be universal unless health services coverage and financial protection measures in all countries progressively include migrants, especially those marginalized or in situations of vulnerability. For over six decades, the IOM has been your privileged and trusted partner around the world to serve health needs of migrants and communities at the front line. Together, we have been reaching and empowering those furthest behind, within and across borders, along the humanitarian development continuum. I welcome the approval of this landmark political declaration on UHC and its explicit mention of the particular needs of migrants and recognition of critical migration-related issues, such as complex emergencies, climate change, and international migration of health workers, among others. The inclusive achievement of UHC will require investment in primary health care that is accessible for migrants and recognition of migrants' roles as co-developers and providers of people-centered and equitable health services in countries of origin and destination. This UHC declaration joins the 2030 Agenda, the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration, and the migration-relevant WHO frameworks and action plans to create mutually reinforcing cooperation frameworks that can catalyze policy and programmatic coherence on migration health. As the UN's related agency responsible for migration and secretariat and coordinator of the UN Migration Network, IOM stands ready to leverage the full potential of cross-agency cooperation in partnership with our member states, UN partners and other stakeholders, including migrants themselves. Leave no migrant behind. Thank you very much.